Today through this video we are going to learn that how in a normal DOL starter connection of digital ammeter is done and that also by using CT. And along with this I am going to tell you one more thing that this ammeter here at the time of connection why this type of terminal need to be used. Ok then let's start the video. As you know that ammeter we use along with the ammeter we use CT. This CT here ratio of this CT is to be told to this ammeter. For this we use these three buttons. I am going to explain this to you later in this video. Now this CT we have ratio of this CT is 100 by 5. It means wire going from inside of CT from this if 100 ampere current flows then in this condition secondary terminal of CT I mean these two terminals output power supply we get from these two terminals in that 5 ampere current will flow. Now this ammeter we have full detail of ammeter is given here. Along with this how to do connection of ammeter is also shown in diagram here. I am going to explain you this same diagram practically. Friends this is our dual starter through which we are turning on and off 3 phase motor. Now in this starter we have to do connection of digital ammeter and that also by using CT. Right now we will learn to measure current only for one phase. What we have to do whatever is the power wiring of motor like you can see here to this contactor 3 phase power supply is provided from here. This red, yellow and blue wire here these 3 wires are of incoming power supply I mean incoming of 3 phase. After this when we turn on the contactor then 3 phase power supply here it starts receiving here. And you can see here for motor 3 wires are connected here. Now among these 3 wires we have to measure current of only single wire. For this what you have to do this CT here from inside of CT wire must pass. But in this you have to be careful about one thing what is that let's understand. Look this CT we have above this CT here it is written P2 and P1. On this CT P1 is not written only P2 is written. So here you can see P2 is written it means whatever will be the phase supply it must go inside from P1 and must come out from P2. This means what you have to do whichever is the cable of motor this is our cable of motor. Among these 3 yellow wire cable of which current is to be measured I mean that wire of which current is to be measured take that wire and from P1 side put inside this wire and from P2 side take it out. It means from P1 side current must flow. This is our P1 side. So we took phase supply from here and this wire here connect this wire with motor now. Now what you have to do with the S1 and S2 terminal of CT S1 is this one and S2 is this one. So with S1 and S2 terminal connect the wire and provide feedback to this ammeter here. On this ammeter here it is written L and here it is written K. In some of the ammeter S1 S2 is written. So what you have to do CT you have from CT take the wire and connect with these two terminals. But in between you have to use terminal of CT. Why we use this terminal I will explain you later in this video. What we have to do first is CT we have connect one by one wire with CT at S1 and S2. This is S1 terminal so I am connecting a wire with this. After this with this S2 terminal also connect one wire. Now take other ends of these two wires and to this TB here TB means terminal box. With this terminal box we have to connect wires. What I am doing is connecting one wire with this TB and take this second wire and connect with another TB. Ok so with the TB we did the connections of wire. Now wire from this TB will directly go to M meter. For this we will use this wire. Take one end of one wire and connect with one TB. And take second wire and connect one end with another TB. In this way. Now connections which is going to be done here be careful here. You have to see this S1 here this has to be connected with S1 terminal of M meter and connect S2 with S2. In this M meter in place of S1 L is written and in place of S2 K is written. What we have to do S1 we have this is our S1. So wire going inside of this I mean this wire this red wire will be connected with S1. S1 is our first terminal so with this terminal I am connecting this wire. Now take second wire 
and with S2 terminal connect this wire. Now to this digital ammeter connection for feedback of current is done. But this ammeter we have this is digital one. So we have to provide auxiliary power to this digital ammeter. If you use analog ammeter here then you won't have to provide auxiliary power supply. But if you use digital ammeter then you have to provide auxiliary power supply to this. For this I am using two wires here. Take both these wires and in this ammeter here with L and N terminals of ammeter connect these two wires with these two terminals. Now take other ends of these wires and in this control MCB with output terminals connect these wires. Ok then connection of this digital ammeter is completed. Now let us check by turning on power supply. So I turned on control power supply you can see display of ammeter is on now. After turning on display of ammeter you have to do programming in this. This CT I have ratio of this is 100 by 5. This ammeter already knows that secondary current is of 5 ampere. But how much is primary we need to program it. So what we have to do press the set button once. After pressing it here you can see 100 is written. It means that I already done the programming of 100 by 5. If you want to change then by using up and down buttons you can change this easily. Suppose the CT you have is of 50 by 5. Then you have to set 50 here. But right now I have CT of 100 by 5. So I am selecting 100 here. And after selecting 100 I will press set button. Ok programming is done. Now let's turn on motor. Right now my motor is consuming 5.06 ampere current. If I turn off the motor ammeter will not show any current. Friends you can see that ammeter is working properly. Now we will understand this terminal we used here what is the benefit of this. Look sometimes what happen is this ammeter may become faulty. Then we remove this from here. Ok suppose ammeter become faulty and I removed it. If secondary wire of your CT is in open condition and in this condition if you turn on motor then in this CT high voltage is produced and due to high voltage CT may get blast. This is why if you open the ammeter I mean if ammeter is defective you removed it then in this condition this TB here we short this TB with each other. For short a link is there what we will do we will connect this link with both the terminals so that S1 and S2 terminals here both these terminals are short with each other. So we will tighten this in this way. I connected this it means both these wires here are connected with each other. I mean S1 and S2 are connected with each other. Now even if you turn on the motor then in this CT high voltage will not be produced because this secondary is connected with each other. Friends if you want to know how 3 phase multifunctional meter connection is done with CT then click on the right hand side video to watch. So friends I hope you like this video. Friends if you like this video then please do like share and comment on my video. Thanks for watching this video.